Welcome back everybody to Workshop Taz, long time no see. Let's uh, get into today's project. So what we got going on here is we are using, I'll pull that back a little bit, a Behringer Euro Rack 1222 FX Pro. And I've had this board for about 13, I don't know, 12, 13 years. I've used it for uh, uh, DJing and some band mic up a little bit. And we run down to here, but now we're gonna take my old board and we're gonna try, we're gonna interface it with uh, this microphone here to the ICOM 7300. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Lots of guys are doing stuff like this, they don't seem to be having problems. And I am using a, a DI box, I seem to get a little bit better result by uh, using this. Um, some of you may have to use something like this, some of you may not have to. I know every situation is different, but here was the issue I was having that I learned from a ham radio friend of mine. I guess some of the ICOMs, I don't know if, I don't know if it's all the 7300s or if it's, you know, I don't know. Uh, but there's a ground, this little wire, this, I got heat shrink tubing on it right here. They run a ground wire from the case here or somewhere. I don't, I don't know if it's, if that ground wire is, is wired into here. I know that the... Most radios have their own ground already in here, so you don't normally need to ground this outside case here. They run a ground wire, and they, uh, let's see if I can get this puppy to focus. Focus, come on. There we go. They run the wire underneath this cap here. They curl it under, and when they tighten down the cap, it makes contact, and it grounds this case here. Sorry for the camera focus to here and this is the other end of the cable the thing is with xlr you already have your audio leads here and your ground over here so they're already it's already grounded you really don't need to ground this end with this end and maybe for some radios it works it did not work for mine um so you're already grounding already have it grounded a balanced line into the board uh and what I got was uh, just horrendous noise before I did this. I couldn't hardly run the run it at all. You couldn't hardly turn the mic gain up. You couldn't use the processor. It just created a lot of hash and trash, and I couldn't figure that out. So I isolated that. And now, and this is something I didn't know. I've been watching lots of videos on guys using their 7300s with audio setups. They didn't seem to have a problem. I don't know why, why mine has to be unique. But this is my setup now. So it seems to run pretty comfortable at 20%, about 2% uh, compression. Um, that's working okay. Now this is what I used to be using, was the Heil Gold Line. And I really love this mic, or liked it anyway. I don't know about love, but I really like this mic. I've had it for, I've had this for a number of years too. And that's been a great mic. Uh, parameters on this were like 50 to 60% on the uh, mic gain and probably about four to five on the um, on the uh, compression. So there is a little bit different. You definitely cannot use the same parameters with the gold line as you do this. And that's about it. So using this as some type of an MXL something or other. And that's about it. I'm just passing that along because I didn't know that. I haven't run across any documentation that shows that. Maybe that's on the Heil website. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but this is the this is the Heil adapter. The it goes from uh, this pin here into the uh, the XLR. So anyway, that's all I got. I just wanted to pass that along to in case we've got any ham operators out there that have an issue with their audio. I don't know of anybody that is. I don't know if my case is unique or not. But uh, I wanted to pass that on because I didn't know that. Learned that from a ham buddy of mine, so I'm very grateful for that. I want to pass that information on to you folks. That's all I got. You guys have a great day, and uh, hopefully we'll see you pretty soon here. I'm going to try to get some more videos out rather than taking so much time off. Catch me later. Bye.